Hey, Kevin's house. Oh no, Kevin got one of your friends in trouble at school today. Egg his house to teach him a lesson he won't ever forget. An adventure slash horror game by Tiny Tales. Now it's now from what it sounds like, um, Kevin, one of our friends at school and stuff, you know, was kind of a snitch. We probably did something, you know, very evil and stuff, you know, very bad, like you know, spray painted the spray painted the school outside and stuff, you know. And probably Kevin, you know, um, snitched, snitched on us to the teachers and principals and stuff, you know. And you know what they say? They say, snitches is stitches. So, um, not only are we going to egg his house tonight, we're going to also um, give him some stitches. But yeah, anyways, this is another one of those games which I tried to play before, but once again, Xbox support. This happened with games like Branch Realities, the Insane Series and stuff, you know, where... Where, like, the rule of, like, I tried to play them before, but they weren't Xbox support at the time. But now they're finally Xbox support after all of this time. And now let's happen with Egg Kevin's House. So now we can finally play it. Yeah. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? It's literally just, you know, Egg in one of our friend's houses, you know? Like, it's not like the house is gonna burn down. No, why would you think that, you fucking idiot? Anyways, let's begin. Alright, here we are. Fuck. All right, here we are at Kevin's house. All right, select the character: Sam, male or Sam, female. I'm probably just gonna go with Sam, female because um, I'm obviously a male already. So let's turn this all the way up for the best experience. Let's, be let's begin. Come on, Billy, reconsider this. Or come on, Billy, reconsider this. No, Sam. Kevin got me in trouble at school today. He has to pay. Billy, you stuck gum in this hair. You had you had it coming. What? I had I had to put my gum somewhere. Just help me egg his house, okay? Uh, uh, uh I suppose it Okay, hold on. Alright. Fine, I'll help. Glad you came to your senses. Now take these eggs and start throwing. Uh okay. Yeah. Yeah, take, take that, you bitch. Yeah, fuck you. So I suppose, um, you know, it's like Minecraft Story Mode. You, you remember playing that game? Yeah, I'm still waiting for Season 3, but... Yeah, it's basically a Minecraft Story... <laughs> you fucking idiot! Billy! What did you do? What did you just do? Um, uh... Just run! Uh... Follow Billy! Fuck! Wait up, Billy! So I suppose it's like Minecraft Story Mode, which... Where depending on depending on which choice you make, it's gonna affect the story and stuff, you know. So, yeah, like if you pick like you know like go and sit, stop the fire and stuff, it's probably gonna you know give you the good ending. Breaking news, okay? We we're lit. We're live at the scene where a small home here in Bloxville has went up in in flames. We've got word that the body of one woman has been recovered from the house. Our identity is not known at this moment. The cause of the fire is currently unknown, but an investigation will be launched after the fire has been put out. Truly a tra tragic event. Damn, 20 year. What the fuck you mean, night one? Motherfucker, what do you mean, night one? Huh? Uh, I guess that's us in the future. Man. The fire really did a number on this house. Yeah, a shame they never found out what caused the fire. Yeah. Right. Anyways, let's scope out the scene. So they never just saw the eggs or anything? I can't believe you convinced me to join you in this. What? You don't want to make it big online? Do you have any idea how much views channels that explore abandoned places get? We can film here all we'd like, fake all the stuff we want, and all the morons who view it all will eat it up. Uh, you're right. We can make it big doing this. Yeah, Sam. I'm always right. Whatever. Let's get on. Let's go on with it. Yeah, so we're just gonna choose, like, you know, being, like, you know, just joining in with them and stuff, so... And then we'll just, you know, do the different choices. Look at this place. I'm sold! This is the perfect place for our videos! I'm with you on that. This is going to be awesome. 
I don't know, guys. I think I want to take a look around first before deciding. Whatever. Just me just meet us outside when you're done. And don't take too long. Alright then. Um, explore the house. Okay. So this is the house that we just fucking ruined, honestly. And to be honest, I'm surprised that they even I they didn't even, you know, find, you know, the the eggs and stuff on the house. The, could they theorize that maybe or something, you know? Something like that? Or or what? Did they already expire or something? Uh, I don't fuck. Do not enter. Hmm. Alright then. Um, well, yeah, this is a very small... Like, can we, like, go back outside now or something? Or... Alright, so we could choose. We could go into the basement or just leave. And for some reason, when it comes to making these videos, I always have the urge to take a shit. What the fuck? Alright, I've choosed and I just got back. So let's go into the basement. What could possibly go wrong? What could be down there? Wait, you suddenly feel real easy. Leave this house. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye, goodbye, bye, bye, bye. So, what do you think? I I'll just say it. I'm creeped out. That door to the basement made me feel really uneasy. Some hooligan probably just spray painted that there to creep out visitors. D or. Don't worry too much about it. Then it's settled. This will be our filming location. Steven, remember to bring your camera tomorrow. We'll all meet here tomorrow night at this time for our first video. Okay, then. I mean, could we still be able to go into the basement even after that? You know, probably. Must know what's in basement. Okay. Billy? Steven? Alright, and then we go into the basement. Alright. Alright, so I guess we can't go into the basement before, you know, the leave the house, you know, objective. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. What are we planning to do? Use use on that. I'll feel safer with this knife. Night two. Okay, is it just gonna be like five nights, like Five Nights at Freddy's or something? Well, tonight is the night. Ready, Steven? Yep. Let's get the show on the road. Sam. I don't know. I'm still unsure. Sam. You worry too much. I'll be fine. Or you, you worry too much. No, okay, now let's... Uh, keep messing up the fucking dialogue. Okay, I'll stand over here and deliver an opening for the video. Sam, go find something to make some noise with. I think we can convince people that this place is haunted. After you hear me mention the dead uh, occupants of the house, make the noise. Can we go in the... Oh... The storm makes you feel very unsatisfied. Sam! Stop worrying about the door! Go find something to make some noise with! Alright. Ah, oh, we can't even go down there in the first place. Alright then. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, same door. Shall I slam the doors with reduce the sound? Yes. This should work. Hello, Internet! Tonight, we're in an abandoned house that burned down due to unknown circumstances 20 years ago. Rumor has it that the ghost of a, of a mother and her son haunt this very place. In fact, I've he- <clears throat> As you can see, the spirits aren't happy with our presence. So we'll leave off here for tonight and return tomorrow where we'll attempt to communicate with the spirits using a Ouija board. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, I say that was a successful first night. That was it? We're done already? 
yeah, we can't go all out on the first night. We need to give the viewers a reason to come back. Anyways, let's bounce. And let's all meet here tomorrow night at the same time once again. I think I'll show up a bit earlier than you two. I've got some stuff I'd like to set up. Sounds good. Alright then. Not oh. Okay, that's red now. So, what do you think Steven wanted to set up? No clue. He probably just wanted to set up more cameras or something. Oh. Di oh, did you see how many views our video got? No. No. How many did we get? Get this. We got over 3,000 views. People are so easy to trick. We're going to make so much money off the of this. Anyways, let's not keep Steven waiting. Okay. I mean, all... Alright. Steven? Where is he? Ugh. He better not have chickened out. We need him if this is going to work. What if something bad happened to him? This place is really sketchy. Don't be ridiculous. Nobody else would be here. Whatever. Let's see if we can find him. Alright, then fine. See, I'm going straight to the fucking basement, honestly. He definitely has to be down there, right? No, we cannot go into the basement. Damn. He is in the damn basement. Alright, let's go. Is it? I, I bet he's going to go. Well, he's really not here. Unless... What the fuck did I tell you? The damn basement. It's always the basement being the scary part. You don't think he'd go down there, do you? There's only one way to find out. Oh dear. Here we go. Steven? Are you down here? Steven, quit messing with us. Get out here where you, we can see you. Billy. I don't like this. Let's just get out of here and call the police. No, Sam. We'll find him ourselves. Let's check out the rooms down here. Maybe he's in one of them. Okay, look for any clues where Steven went. Okay, this is a big-ass, um... Yeah, this is a big-ass spaceman, though. Um... Alright, this is locked. Oh, I, fi I, find he I found his headphones. Are these Steven head Steven's headphones? Hey, ba okay, that oh, damn, B Billy, what's going on? Oh, good, you're finally awake. Don't worry about him. He's knocked out. He can't hear you. Who are you? Allow me to reintroduce myself, Sam. Oh, shit. So, Sam, do you remember me now? Kevin. It, K Kevin? Is that you? Yes, Sam. It's me, Kevin. I apologize for what I had to just do right just now. Billy and I have some unfinished business, so I couldn't let you get in the way. Anyways, I'm getting impatient. Let's wake up our good friend Billy. Damn! What, what's going on? Wait, Kevin? How are you alive? Why am I tied up? You probably thought I died in the fire, didn't you? I wasn't home at the time. I missed the bus, so I had to walk home. My poor mother, however, was home and was trapped inside. She didn't make it out. This photo is all I have left to remember her. Anyways, we have a lot to talk about. What? Do you remember when you burned my house down? What? You have no proof that I did that. I don't like liars, Billy. Does this pack of gum look familiar? 
I found it right outside of my house on the day of the fire. I... I... You don't have to say anything. Nothing you say or do will get you out of this. Please. Kevin, it was an accident. We never meant for this to happen. We? Sam? You were part of this? Kevin, I... I'm so sorry. I can't believe you stoop, stooped to Billy's level, Sam. I thought so much better of you. It doesn't matter. What you did ruined my life. I couldn't save my mother. I rushed in to try to help her, but the heat was too much. It's how I got this horrible burn on my face. She was the only person I had in my life, and you took her away from me. I never got over her death, so I spent the last 20 years living in this basement, figuring how, figuring out how I could track you, you down to get my revenge. It finally paid off, though. You were foolish enough to come here yourself, and now justice can finally be served. What are you going to do to us? You're going to share the same fate as my mother. I'm going to set this place on fire, and you're going to burn alive. Come on! Kevin, you gotta think about this. Do you really want to kill us? I've had 20 years to think about this, Billy. Karma has finally caught up with you. Goodbye, Billy. Goodbye, Sam. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Sam! We have to get out of here! Oh, the knife! I'll cut the rope. Sam, get me out of here! Hey, <laughs> fuck no, I'm out of here, bitch. Bye bye. Nah, he's the reason why I'm even in this mess, so fuck him. Kevin! You couldn't have just died down there, could you? You couldn't have, have just let justice be served. Maybe I didn't get my revenge tonight, but mark my words, one day. Justice will be served, and you'll both be dead. Kill the bitch! Gotta waste him! I'm sorry, Kevin, but I can't let you get away with what you just did. Waste the bitch! Why did any of this have to happen? Oh. Uh-oh. And we're out of that bitch. Sorry, guys. We just had to waste the bitch. Wow. Ending Warmonger. Wow. Billy uh, was the school bully, leader of the ghost hunting crew, died in the basement fire. Status, dead. Kevin, a victim of Billy's bullying, left Billy, Sam, and Steven to die in the basement. Lost his life to Sam. Status, dead. Steven, friend of Sam and Billy, cameraman of the ghost hunting crew. Whereabouts are unknown. Status, unknown. Yeah. Sam, help Billy egg Kevin's house. Helper of the ghost hunting crew. Killed Kevin. Status alive. So, yeah. Now we go play this and stuff. And like I said before, depending on the choices we make, it will actually affect, like, our gameplay and stuff, you know. It's like those story games made by Telltale Games, you know. Like the Batman games and stuff. The Minecraft story mode, you know. So, yeah. We probably at least watched one user play, play them before. So, what happens if we actually, you know, not help Billy with this? Or hell, what if we, what if we help, what if we go save, you know, Kevin's mom and stuff, you know, and Kevin is himself, you know? Yeah. There's, like, different choices in this game that can, you know, get, get yourself into different endings and stuff, you know? Yeah. And I also like it that it's just not, like, you know, a story game or an ending-based game and stuff, you know? Yeah, so, no way. No way, Billy. You're on your own. Ugh. Fine. I'll do it myself, then. Alright, alright, here we go. No way, Billy. You're on your own. Ugh. Fine. I'll do it myself, then. Can we just go anywhere at this point? Ooh, rock. Wait, why am I... Why am I standing still? Billy! What did you just do? Um, um... Just run!
run! Nope. Run inside. We're running inside, bitch. I have to save whoever's inside! Alright, let's go. Hurry, you don't have much time. Okay. Please! Help me! Fuck, 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 fuck. Go, 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 go. Alright, just... Thankfully, I can still click on them on the Xbox. Let's go! We saved... We saved um, Kevin's mom. You... You saved my life. Thank you. And that's gonna affect the gameplay. Breaking news, okay? We're live at the scene where a small home here in Bloxville has went up in flames. And there's Billy. The suspect has been brought back to the scene of the accident behind me, and will be taken in for questioning soon. Thankfully, there were no fatalities. However, the homeowner was taken to the hospital after sustaining mild burn marks. She is expected to make a full recovery. Before she was taken away, I got the chance to speak with her. She told me that if it wasn't for the bravery of Sam here, she might not have made it out alive. For his bravery, he was awarded a Medal of Honor. Tell me, Sam, what was going through your mind before you rushed into the house, okay? Well, I was scared, but I knew that if I didn't act fast, whoever was inside might not have made it out. Well, it's a great thing you did, Sam, okay? Uh, had you not faced your fears, that woman might ha not have made it out. Well, folks, that's all we've got to report here for today, okay? Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful day, okay? And there we go. And there we go! Future firefighter ending! Yeah, so if you basically, like, go back go back into the house and stuff, and, you know, save... Yeah, if you save, um, Margaret and stuff, aka Kevin's mom, then, uh, you get the future firefighter ending, which is most likely one of those good endings. Billy caused the house fire... Was captured by the police after fleeing the scene, status alive. Margaret, mother of Kevin, was saved by Sam, status alive. And Sam, bravely ran into the house, saved the life of Kevin's mother, status alive. So, yeah, now obviously we could go back into the game and stuff, you know, yada yada yada, go and, you know, save, you know. Yeah, we could go, um, check, like, you know, pick different choices and stuff, you know. And yeah, we could also, you know, skip this, skip this, like, just click this. Yeah, there's also a choice to, um,. Yeah, to actually, you know, stay silent for the entire game. Um, yeah, let's just go with the stay silent. Nothing to say, huh? Fine. But I'm still doing that. Doing it. Okay. Alright, so, yeah. This time we're gonna basically, you know, just stay silent for the entire game and stuff. So, you know, to just see what honestly happens. I don't know if it's also gonna affect the, you know, the gameplay and stuff, you know? Like, uh... I mean, it is going to give us a badge, like, science is the valid option and stuff, so, whatever. Let's get on with it. Yeah, I, I just stay, stay silent again, so. Yeah, we're obviously just going to skip all this dialogue and stuff, because what's the point of just reading it again? Alright, let's see, hold on. What if we just stay? What if we just stay, honestly? I guess that's not really gonna do shit. Alright. Outside we go. I'll take out that, that as another then. Okay then. It'll be fine. Now, let's head inside. Alright. Just always saying whatever when I don't even fucking respond. Wait, 
what if uh, it's something else here? Oh, maybe we can find a key somewhere that maybe. All right, I guess we could. Oh, we're not. Okay. Too nervous to speak, huh? Allow me to reintroduce myself. <clears throat> I can see you're confused. It's me, Kevin. I lived in this house 20 years ago. I mean, that was a... Jeez. Pet buck now. Bye bye. It's over, Sam. I got my revenge on Billy. This can end here. You'll never have to see me again. Just get out of here. <clears throat> Why did any of this have to happen? Uh oh. Alright, Team Kevin and Silence is a valid option. Both badges, nice. Dude, most likely, if we keep Billy alive and, like, you know, t like, yeah, if we keep Billy alive until the end and stuff, then we'll just get Team Billy and stuff, so, yeah, no surprise. Alright, so now we're gonna get, um, both the, the secret ending and the, um, yeah, yeah, the pacifist ending, which basically, you know, just go, beat the game without anyone dying and stuff, you know. And our secret ending, we're gonna need to find these five fragments, which I'll basically just show you where they are and stuff, you know, so. Yeah, so, yeah, the first one is out here, so, yeah, we're gonna have to aim it. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to aim it. Right over there. See, there we go. There we go. There we go. Go get it. And there we go. That was one of the key fragments. So, yeah. First one, you have to, like, you know, hit one of the crows there and stuff. And then, uh, yeah. And then you simply have to, you know, like, go, like follow Kevin and stuff, you know, to, like, continue on with the actual, you know, game and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, so, yes, I did just come back from school once. All right. So, yeah, the next key fragment is... Um, at the, you know, abandoned house and stuff, um, yeah, behind the fridge, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're just gonna skip all this and stuff, you know, because we already read it, so. You're right. You, okay, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, once again, we're just skipping all this shit. Alright, 
All right, yeah, the the second one is behind this fridge. Yep, right there. So we can just send, yeah, okay. So gonna need to jump over this, grab it, jump back over, and then just continue the game until we get to the dream sequence, I'm pretty sure. All right, so now we're getting into the dream sequence, so. Yeah. The first one is where you hit the one of the crows and stuff and then collect, you know, kind of their corpse. The second one is behind the fridge in the in the, in the here and stuff. And now we're in the dream sequence, so we're going to have to simply go over here, grab one of these, I'm pretty sure. Yep, the metal pipe. And then we're going to have to break this window over here. Yep. Bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Got to, you know, squeak my out. That's art. And, and yeah, the sec the third one is right here and stuff. And obviously, we're just got to keep, you know, playing it until, yeah, until we get to, you know, the second time we're actually here and stuff, you know, when we're actually trying to fight Steven, you know, so, yeah. Yep, let's do this. Awesome. Glad to hear you're on board with us. There's the fourth one right there. And, yeah, now we simply have to, you know, wait until we actually get to the fairy ending of the game and stuff, you know, when, you know, when the fire is actually happening and stuff. And then, yeah. Um, the key fragment's gonna be under those boxes and stuff. Um, yeah, like, near, like, you know, the entrance and stuff from the basement, you know? And, yeah, that's basically, most likely gonna, you know, burn down and stuff, so we're simply just gonna have to quickly grab that, and then, um, since I'm obviously gonna get the pacifist badge as well and stuff, you know? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna obviously save Kevin as well and stuff, you know? So, you know, yeah, so that I don't have to, you know, go into this game multiple times and stuff just to get, like, each badge every single time, you know, so, yeah. Oh, jeez, fuck. That was awesome. Great work. Yeah, Billy. That was great. You did awesome, too, Sam. <clears throat> okay, uh, Steven, it's not that hard to knock over a metal pipe. Still, Billy, Sam deserves credit. Anyways, let's bounce. He wouldn't have canceled without telling us, right? He's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah. Let's see if we can find him. Alright, now we're here. Um, yeah, now we're basically just here. Um, so, just gotta choose something else. Uh, what do you... Alright, let's just... Yeah, good chick. Please let us go. We promise not to tell anyone what happened here. I'm afraid I can't let that happen, Sam. We have much to discuss. Yep, and that's, um... Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, what? I, I definitely remember that. I have no idea who you are. You really don't remember me, do you? It's me, Kevin. You know, the kid who lived in this house 20 years ago. Alright, yeah, now we're just gonna skip all this shit. Yeah, right, we gotta act quick when it comes to, you know, collecting that last keyframe and stuff. A lot of dialogue to... Alright, yeah, we gotta act quick during this part, so. Kinda of afraid of that. Alright, here we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. Thanks. Now let's get out of here. Alright. And then we'll just let Kevin go and stuff, you know, to get the pacifist as well. Hang on. Pretty sure that hopefully this works and stuff, you know, so. Yeah. Now we'll go 
let him go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will work now and stuff, you know. So, yeah, got the pacifist, the secret, so, yeah. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. And there we go! So, yeah, let's see what happens next. Yep, the pacifist. And the secret, there we go. The key. Yeah, the fragments of the keys. Oh. Alright, that's that must be where Steven is and stuff. Oh. <clears throat> to be continued, oh. Hmm. I feel like in the sequel and stuff, Steven's kind of gonna, you know, get re get revenge on us, you know, for leaving them there, you know? And, yeah, there we go. We kept everyone alive, you know? So, yeah. I mean, it, it said, yeah, it says Steven and stuff, you know, he's not dead, you know? Even though he was in that fire, it says he's not dead, you know? So, yeah, he must have escaped that fire, like, you know, like on time, you know? So... Yeah, so yeah, now we're simply just gonna get the Team Billy and stuff, um, ending, you know, where we, we just only keep Billy alive in the ending and stuff, so, yeah. I, I think I broke, um, Sam's not really there. Did, did I, did, did I literally just break the game there or something? Oh, jeez, alright. And there we go. Team Billy. <clears throat> Alright, and Speedrunner as well. Nice. Yeah, beating us in like 8 minutes and 19 seconds. Nice. Now, there's this other badge called, um, Inadfernit Hero, which I probably know how to actually get it. So, probably what we're gonna have to do is to simply, you know, not, you know, try and egg Kevin's house. And then I found this solo rock and stuff, so we're probably gonna have to throw that at, at um, yeah, we're gonna have to throw that at Billy to basically you know, stop him from egging Kevin's house and stuff. And yeah, so. Yeah, I gotta make this quick. Do I have to, like, have it in my hand or something? Or did that just n do no shit? Okay, that probably just did not. But hold on. I probably know how to actually get another ending, though. So, yeah, we're probably got the parish in this fire. Because there's a badge called Rescued. Which, most likely, if we die, if we, you know, get... Yep, there we go. Or, hold on. Breaking news, I'm gay. We're live at the scene, and this just says the same dumb shit. Or, this... Is that... Okay, that, that just does not fucking nothing. And we're just sliding for... Oh! Uh, okay, the only thing that really just changes is that we got, like, you know, more fucking burnt marks. Huh. Alright, now, the thing is about, like, that hero badge is I actually, you know, was actually correct. You have to, like, you know, pick up that rocket stuff and throw it at, um, Billy so that he can simply, you know, just go home and stuff. And, yeah, you'll basically get that badge. The problem is, I think I wasn't, you know, directly actually, you know, aiming at Billy. 
I suppose he actually, you know, have to directly hit Billy and stuff and not, you know, just, like, click, like, somewhere else random and it will just, you know, automatically just throw at him. You probably have to, though, click on his body and stuff to basically actually, you know, make it work and stuff, you know, so. But, yeah, so, I, for now, we're basically just gonna get either the Perish Badge or the Rescued Badge. Because most likely you get both of these badges from, you know, the fire at the end of the game and stuff, so... Yeah, for now we'll just get that, and then the next game we'll simply, you know, just get that badge. Yeah, so... Yeah, we only need, like, yeah, we only need, like, three more badges left and stuff, you know, to... Yeah, complete the full game, you know, and wait on for the sequel, you know? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so if you don't... So if... So if you don't cut the rope and stuff that you're trapped in and stuff, then you'll basically get the Parish Badge. But if you actually cut the rope and just stay inside the fire, then you'll get the rescued badge. So, yeah, pretty simple. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just, all right, now, yeah, so, yeah, just don't cut the rope and you'll get the perish ending. But, actually cut the rope and stay in the fire, rescued ending. So, yeah, just do nothing for, like, ten seconds or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, obviously it won't be, like, you know, that long, so. I wonder where this music's from. Oh, and there we go. Yep. Parish ending. Oh, and yep, we're in the hospital. Huh? I'm lo oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it all mixed up, I suppose. Oh, good. You're finally awake. Hi, I'm Nurse Adams. I've been taking care of you while you've been out. H how'd I get here? One of your friends dropped you off here last night. He said you were in need of immediate medical attention. Something about a fire? Billy? Was his name Billy? He didn't say. He dropped you off and left almost immediately. He must have been in quite the hurry. All we know about him was that he had this really bad burn mark on his face. We offered to treat it, but he really insisted that he leave. Anyways, you don't seem to have any significant injuries, so you should be all set to leave later today. Oh, before I forget, your friend left this audio tape for you. Out of respect, neither me or any of the other staff have listened to it. I'll leave the room and let you listen to it in private. Okay, all right. All right, let me just... Hello, Sam. If you're hearing this, it means you've woken up in the hospital. As you probably already figured out, I'm the one who brought you there. It would have been fair to let you die to something Billy caused. Speaking of him, he's done. Burned to a crisp. As for your other friend, I'm not sure where he is now. I left him in one of the rooms in the basement, but chances are he's dead by now as well. Anyways, this will be the la last you ever hear of me. Um, you won't ever see me again, and I suggest not looking for me either. I did what I had to do. Now let me live out the rest of my life fulfilled. The monster who killed my mother is gone. Goodbye, Sam. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so I, I'm kind of a retard for that, honestly. So, okay, so now I get how to get, okay, so for the rescued ending, you're going to basically, you know, not help, you know, Billy over here to actually, you know, kill, yeah, we're, yeah, so for the rescued ending, you're, you're basically going to have to not help Billy with, um, you know, egging Kevin's house, and that will basically make, you know, Kevin save you from the fire and stuff, you know, so, but, but here's the thing. If you basically get the if you basically help Billy at Kevin's house, then that means Kevin will basically leave you in that fire and make you perish. So, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't really think so far with like the video I just checked out. All I just saw was a few words and I honestly thought about that. So, yeah. Why the dumbass ain't I? All right, so yeah. Now we'll get the hero ending and stuff. Let me see if that works now. Now that I know how most likely how to do it. So, yeah. And you especially have to, like, you know, not help Billy with it and stuff, you know? Because that makes make a lot more sense. Alright, yeah, now we're gonna go over here. 
pick up this rock and then shoot the bitch. Well, fuck. Well, um, that, yeah, that doesn't really do shit as well. So, um, fuck. I mean, at least I know how to get it now. It's just that, uh, for some reason, it's not really working on the Xbox. Even if I even try to hit the candle, it's still not even gonna fucking work. So, I try to even hit it, but yet. <laughs> Alright, now that we, um, helped, um... Billy's egg counter's house. Now let's see what happens now. And we obviously just wait. And while we're just waiting, uh, make sure to subscribe for more, you know, kind of like more story games, you know, like the like story type games, like slash horror games like these and stuff, you know, because I really enjoy playing them actually, you know. So yeah. Also like the video, yada yada yada. And there we go. Yeah. And perished. Yep, now that we, um, helped uh, Kevin's house and stuff, you know, we're dead. Yeah, and most likely, Kevin and Steven are the only people alive, technically, you know, since in the secret ending, we saw that he was alive. Or, just for the sake of it, in this ending, he's already dead as well. I don't know. But yeah, and that's about it for Egg Kevin's house. Yeah, probably so far, you know, my top five, you know, favorite, you know, um... Kind of ending beast games, I guess, I guess you could say. Like, story slash horror games, I guess. But yeah, still pretty well done, you know, Roblox game and stuff. Like, you could tell, like, much effort was put into it. Like, m much love, passion, and, uh, and stuff, all that. And not gonna lie, I can't wait for, you know, the sequel. Even though this game almost came out, like, a year ago, and yeah, we still have no sequel. Still can't wait for it. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll probably, you know, see Steven again and stuff. He's probably either gonna be the villain of the story, or probably, you know, um... I honestly don't know what to expect gonna happen in the next one. So for now, we're just gonna have to end it right here. So yeah, that was Egg's Kevin, Egg, motherfucker, Egg Kevin's house. Yeah, one egg hit in a candle, just like affected this. Crazy. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other kind of you know story type games and stuff, you know ending based games that you have for me that I never heard of. Or if you want to notify me that's an update in one of these type of Roblox games that I did play before, but I never heard the update, then you can easily just suggest them on the group wall on my Roblox group, the Plugins YT group, or you could just suggest them in the comments below. Uh, I mean, yeah, what's the point of just making the Roblox group in the first place? Um, you can either click the link in the description below that has a really long paragraph, or you can just do low answer on Roblox groups, the Plugins YT group, and it's mostly going to be the first one to pop up. And here's the thing about the Roblox group, though. You got to do that's more than Roblox games, though. Like, you suggest Plugins Picture Shorts extras and holiday specials ideas, fails me to react on YouTube and movie shows. Like, it doesn't have the Roblox experience, like, game specifically. It could just be anything. Just make sure it's not appropriate for our reason. Also, quick notes though, if the Roblox game that you suggest is not Xbox support at the moment, they'll basically, basically just say in the Google ball that it's not Xbox support, but when it does become Xbox support in the future, like probably a year after, I will most likely hope we remember to play it. Also, suggesting Skippy the Toy related games are not allowed, so suggest a Skippy the Toy related game, then boom, you'll call me the and that was the first one we in exile from the group. Also, if you do suggest a Roblox game though, or notify me to update one of these Roblox games that I did play before, but I never heard of the update, and I still haven't made a video by yet, there are two, th there are two things that I have right now. No well, number one, I'm probably busy recording over other Roblox games and stuff because I usually record just the suggested one last. Or number two, I'm probably busy doing something else, you know, like an animation or a complete project that I have read or announced yet, you know, like Piggy Analog Core. But don't worry, the Roblox um game that you suggest will still be recorded by me, other yada yada yada, you'll still be created in the description below, Roblox profile, or if I, or even by chance a YouTube channel. Also, do not suggest me any Roblox games to be made by people on a platform. Who have done no good things, you know, like game fam, big games. I've explained them multiple times. You're commonly deleted, and it's not a warning. I just don't want to show you that kind of stuff. Also, did not just submit any Roblox R63 games. That one is self explanatory. You may exit from the group without any warnings. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Plug YT is signed up right now, and I'll see you guys next video. And as always, peace. Wait, did someone take my house? Motherfucker, what? Oh shit, they hit a kid!